Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the katydid. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Picture this. The sun is set. Darkness has fallen over the forest. The smell of damp grass lingers on the wind. And the sound of, nope, not crickets, but someone closely related. The katydid, sometimes ironically referred to as the bush cricket, is part of the same suborder of insects as crickets, but they're still only cousins. Katydids actually create the sound of loud insects you may associate with nightfall, depending on your geographical location and the time of year. Crickets have a chime-like chirp, while katydids create more of a buzzing sound. Here's what I mean. And although katydids might look more like grasshoppers than crickets, grasshoppers aren't even part of the same suborder. What's the difference? Well, there's a few, but the most obvious one is their antenna length. Grasshoppers have short antenna, while crickets and katydids have long antenna. Very long. So long, in fact, that they're sometimes two to three times the length of the entire insect's body. Chester would be whisker jealous if he knew. The katydid lives on every continent except Antarctica, and there are over 6,000 species of this leaf-like insect. They come in a range of sizes, with a few species so big that they top the charts for some of the biggest bugs on the planet. Typically, they're about 1 to 4 inches in length, and that's excluding those crazy antennas. The biggest species, the giant katydid, can reach lengths of over half a foot. When you hear the name katydid, you might imagine a bright green grasshopper-looking thing like this but really they come in all shapes and colors. Here's one that's pink. And here's one that's all speckled. And here's, um, this one. And this one is, wait, is that just a dead leaf? And, oh, oh, I feel like we've entered the dark parts of the internet. Katie Dids are experts of camouflage and have adapted to look like the environments in which they live. It's more likely for someone to hear a Katie Did than to see one because of all that evolution at work. Don't let that fact stop you from looking though. They live nearly anywhere, including deserts, rainforests, and even Canada. <laughs> Sorry, Canada, just kidding. Many species live for less than a year, producing the next year's generation during their lifetime and dying with the onset of winter. Some that inhabit more tropical areas can live many years, however, and will even produce offspring up to twice per year. Katydids lay their eggs on leaves, branches, rocks, rotting logs, you know, any place you'd want to leave your child. Nymphs hatch after enduring the cold of winter and look very similar to their parents, but lack wings. They'll shed many times before becoming full-sized adults in about three to four months. Most katydids are vegetarian and eat the leaves they live among. However, some, like the black-winged clonia, are carnivorous and will eat other insects. Not sure if that makes them insectivores? On the flip side, katydids land on the meal plan of many other creatures, including bats, birds, small mammals, and even humans. Well, sort of. See, a large group of katydids could destroy fields of crops, so farmers invented a chemical that would destroy the katydids and not their eggs, so as not to entirely disrupt the circle of life, I suppose. Eh. Some of the larger species are even kept as pets. Personally, I'll stick with Chester. The Cherokee believe that if one hears a katydid very close to them, then it is a warning of death. The story goes that a hunter made fun of a loud katydid near his camp one night, saying in his annoyance that the joke was on the katydid because he would die before winter. The katydid retorted that the joke was in fact on the hunter because he would die by morning. The next morning, his partner awoke to find the hunter dead. For more information on the katydid, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animals you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you for watching and give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.